Mistaking Brahms' unbeauty for a new line of thought, his followers amuse themselves with seeking in what a variety of means they too can twist and torture a series of commonplace tones and chords. When this rambling commotion seriously pretends to be regarded as music, if Herr Dr. Johannes Brahms intends to mystify his admirers with this newest work, if he wants to make fun of their brainless adoration, we would marvel at Herr Brahms as the greatest bluffer of this century and of all future millennia.